Hey guys, welcome back to some more System Shock 2. Uh, time to view those two logs that we had. Uh, here's number one. Five minutes ago, one of those large, burly creatures dragged Claude towards the sound of the grinding. Apparently, the enemy uses smaller creatures to help move food along its digestive tract. I tried to help Claudette, but it wasn't even a contest. And I'm ashamed to admit, I judged that seeing what happened to her was a vital element of my studies here. I imagine I won't have the opportunity to record any observations when it comes my turn. I know you're all plenty of time. Besides the parasitic behavior evidenced in the life cycle of the human antlid hybrids, it's becoming clear to me that Shodan has bred the many to use humans for other purposes. First of all, the many clearly has the capability to convert human flesh to energy. It can eat us, but it can also directly use us in the creation of its egg pods. Corpses are fed into some kind of tubular structure, and eggs are birthed through a nearby tube. I've been unable to determine whether the organism is directly converting the corpses into egg structures or not. But it's clear that there's some connection between the nutrient pool we provide and the eggs that are being produced. Alright, kill these guys, and one more left. While I don't understand the analid life cycle fully, it's clearly extremely diverse. The eggs produce either a male or a female spore. The male, the drones, are wasp-like creatures. The female are worm-like analids that seek out a host to infect. Following infection, the host begins to transform into a human analid hybrid. From that point, the life form can take numerous paths. I believe this path is determined by the mini itself. The creatures have communicated their need to grow the biomass, so I imagine that biological material is their primary resource. Therefore, each path has costs and benefits. The proto-arachnid is extremely quick and potentially relatively cheap in biomass. The hulking, fleshy ones are powerful, but are clearly a larger investment. I observed only one example of the floating organisms. The only comfort is that the more dangerous organisms are quite costly to produce, limiting their numbers. Okay, I think we're done now. And... oh, two ice picks, alright. We'll hit that guy, okay. Uh, well then, uh, so we're back, uh, playing System Shock and exploring this little, uh, place. Uh, apparently I'm not gonna make any more Astrokes because you guys ruined it. With intellectual discussion. This, this must be like, like, it was in part 18, the comments were like, all about, like, Mike, you're in Mike, Mike, I want to interject for a moment and tell you that uh, a sphincter can be any any orifice. Even your eyes are sphincters and stuff like that. And I'm just like, oh shit. This must be like the only video on YouTube where like... I, I'm I'm the one being the immature asshole and, and apparently my audience is really a highbrow. Fuck. Okay, so some power got drained, so let's go just deal with that. This guy's like in the water here, so let's go pyrokinesis him. Uh, I, I, don't, I don't really feel like dealing with him in the water. And I also have this little uh, organ thing, so I might as well use that. So this is like a weird little side path. I actually, I've never gone here, well, I have gone here before, but uh, I, prior to the time I streamed it, I didn't. Your time is running out. All you have is your hatred and your individuality. Now don't you wish you joined us? Would you then feel so wrong? Wonder is that is that is the toxins gonna go by its away by itself? I have plenty of them though, so it's okay. I I kind of wonder because I know radiation goes away slowly. Oh, this room. Okay, let's go cryokinesis this guy. Oh yeah, I have it on F five. I think that's F five. Ah uh, well, I I've been also co-oping this with Canned and stuff on the side, and I actually got into uh, Psy tier five for trolling purposes. Like I, I, uh, I, I use those, I use those uh, Psy walls basically to piss off Can, and it's it's fucking hilarious. Good times. I have some highlights on my channel if you haven't seen them yet, uh, with barriers, just me dicking around and 
and I, I, it's a fun, it's not a fucking, these bees, I hate them. Uh, it's a fun ability, like, but it's not very practical. I wonder if I can get up there somehow. So that seems like a... Yeah, you see, there's, we can see into there. We can see forever, okay. Well, uh, now that the bees are gone. Remember, they go, they go away due to time. Okay, well, done with those guys. Uh, these ones don't act, will not actually, uh, you know, I can, I guess there's really no point, because I'm just hitting them and that's it. Uh, some more worms. Actually, there's two maintenance tools here. I like 20 medical kits too, for some reason. And probably, I, I would guess that they're not binded to anything either. I also have Psy Hypos, which I've never used. Uh, that might be useful uh, a little bit later on. I'm like, what is there? Unfortunately, I can't jump again when I'm over there, so I guess we're just gonna have to leave it be. This, yeah, refraining from making ass jokes. That's, uh, it's very difficult. I mean, it was, it was, it was the perfect joke and, and everyone went in all, all buzzkill mode. Okay, well, I think we're good here. And... Someone over here? I'm, I'm, I'm getting ready with my adrenaline. Oh. Oh, well, there is someone. Oh fuck. These guys freak me the shit out. They're huge. I have a ton of resources though, so it's not really a huge problem. Oh well. It's clear that this thing I'm trapped inside is intimately linked with all the organisms I observed on board the Von Braun. Strike that. This creature is the same organism. Perhaps the best way to describe it, or perhaps the only way I can comprehend it, is that the organism serves to perform the highest mental functions of the entire species. The smaller creatures exist only to enact its will. Now strike that too. All the specimens act as a whole, like different organs in a single body, with this entity acting primarily as a brain. If one were to destroy this large specimen, I wonder, would it snuff out all the others? Yeah, so I didn't know if there's any kind of like dialogue or anything. Oh, time for a little swim, huh? Oh, there's crap here. Huh. Good stuff. And some ammunition. Alright. Now this part is a little bit difficult, but not to worry, I have a strategy. Actually... I think, I think I actually I'm gonna put on pyrokine Pyrokinesis Field. Oh, don't kill me. Okay, thanks. Uh, I'm probably gonna listen to this. I, I'm being taken away now. It's my turn. I'm being dragged into some kind of chamber. The ceiling is aligned with a, a number of panels, uh, wrestling with what appear to be uh, stalactites uh, or teeth. The creature's looking down now. He's leaving. What's going on? It's, it's dark in here. I, I can hear the moans of someone. Claudette? Is that you? Uh, I seem to have stepped into something soft. Slippery. That's fucking disgusting. Okay, I'm gonna get to just these things by just standing next to them. That's, uh, that's, that would normally be hard, but I can get past it really easily just because I have invisibility. Alright. And if I, I, if I, I think if I just stand near this, am I hurting it? Uh, I may have to... Oh, okay. Hey, come at me, motherfuckers! Take you all on. Alright, let's go get, uh, wow! I was, just got wrecked. Alright, uh, unfortunately there's no way for me to go back. Alright. Uh, 
That's unfortunate. Luckily, bumping into shit doesn't reset it. That poor guy, he just got smoked by uh, by the mini. I saw pyrokinesis, but you don't hear that effect. I might actually put it on that that tape on again because it just occurred to me that uh, it may have been rather loud. And for that, I apologize. Okay, hey. Wait, how do you know I'm here? Well, this, uh, this makes things certainly interesting. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to use two abilities, and, uh oh And, uh, actually I'm going to save here, and adrenaline. Let's run away. Right. Oh, whoops, that was not the right ability. Alright. Pyro field. Go. Uh oh. Uh, visibility go. Unfortunately, healing myself does uh, remove my health. I have I have my my one of my side abilities too, so uh, let's go stand in the middle of these guys. I'm wondering if I should just hit them with a couple of shots. And they blow up. Okay, so uh, pyro. Pyrokinesis would be probably the best option for me right now. Alright. Unfortunately, I don't really, uh. I can run around really fast, though. Uh oh. Okay, let's keep Pyrokinesis going. This is a really fast charge up ability, so. Don't want to go over there. The hell? This guy's glitched up. Okay, yeah, I think they're fucking bugs or something. I need to hit these things somehow. There we go. And I just died. Okay. Okay, let's go over here. We're just gonna let those guys do whatever they want. Come over here. Come to Papa. <laughs> Very dramatic deaths. This crystal shard though is really powerful. I I don't even know if I should be looting these bodies because I don't think they have anything for me. And I just got smoked. Okay. I think I think my best option here is actually just to go straight for these things. Actually, maybe maybe I could use cryokinesis. There we go. We got one, and I died. Okay. Well, this is this is real fucking hard because uh, I know I have to kill all those sparkly things. There we go, and let's invisibility it up. And he apparently still sees me somewhere. So I think they're just gonna infinitely spawn, to be honest. I don't really see a way out. Okay, and... Nope. Fuck. I, I have to be... Look at this. They, they know where I am. Okay, let's see. God damn it! Oh. Okay, let's go and... Regenerate and also get our health, uh, get everything back. You know, these hotkeys really come in handy. I have to basically predict where this guy's going. Oh, okay. We, we're good, we're good, don't worry. I never fear. Uh, okay, well, that was a rather large explosion of the explosion variety. That was a one hit kill from fucking this much health. What the hell, like, does that much damage? It's ridiculous. Okay, well, we're done. Do you know what you have wrought? Our tragedy is written by your hand. Oh, 
Oh, now we're going through the sphincter. <laughs> I don't know. Just tubes. We die. We die. Beware the machine mother. She is a stranger. She is a stranger to everything we cherish. Hey, nerves. It's like a water slide. We. Oh, that was interesting to do on Psy. Difficult, but interesting. Thank you for running my errands, puppet. I know you have struggled. Strut struggled, but I never had any intention of destroying the Von Braun. Destroying the Von Braun. The Von Braun's faster than light drive can be used to create pockets of pro pro, pro, pro pockets of proto reality. I am now using it to modify reality to, to my to my own specifications. The process shall not take long. Take long, take long. If it sounds unpleasant to you, put your mind at ease, in insect. You will not survive to see my new world order. She betrayed us. Who saw that coming? It's a surprise to everybody. Alright. Wow, I need like two Psy Hypos to fill that up. Okay, let's go view that other log that we heard before. Uh, we, we did miss another one, so... Taken away now. It's my turn. I'm being dragged into some kind of chamber. The ceiling is aligned with a, a number of panels, uh, bristling with what appear to be uh, stalactites or, or teeth. The creature's put me down now. He's leaving. I might have been spared. But what's going on? It's, it's dark in here. I, I can hear it. Someone. Is that you? Uh, I seem to have stepped into something soft, S slippery. I'm still like that. Hey, cool. I like that. Okay. Um, we also have one more that we did leave from there. Uh, it's engineering deck. With only a few short years of evolution, they've been able to conquer this starship. Men oh, damn it. You travel within the glory of my memories, insect, insect, insect. I, I can feel your fear as you tread the endless expanse of my mind. Make, make, make yourself, make yourself comfortable. Before long, I will decorate my home with, 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 with your carcass. Alright, what the hell? Oh no, it's this one. Uh, this one. With only a few short years of evolution, they've been able to conquer this starship, mankind's mightiest creation. Where were we after 40 years of evolution? What swamp are we swimming around in? Single-celled, mindless. What if Shodan's creations are superior to us? What will they become in a million years, in ten million years? What's clear is that Shodan shouldn't be allowed to play God. She's far too good at it. Okay, and we got two more logs from here. Uh, so let's just read them. You are not alone here. The Shodan has spawned her own versions of the Bon Bron's horrors. Remember, they are ritual. They are not real. Do not assume anything about their strengths or weaknesses. If you are receiving this, I am already dead. When I realized Shodan had betrayed me, I integrated these comments into her primary data loop. Shodan has exploited the warping capability of the Von Braun's faster-than-light device for her own purposes. The device works by altering space around the ship to very arbitrary specifications. 
specification. She then has altered it to her specifications. The effect is rather small now, but spreads with alarming speed. Soon it will reach Earth. You are in her world now, her memories, and her rules. Watch your back. I'm being attacked by geometric shapes. It's horrifying. Okay, well, uh, let's go eat that. I have so much speed. I think I've gone past the cap, actually. I'm so fast right now. Oh. Wah. Let's just explore for a bit and have a good time. Hey, what's up? You know, these cameras really don't do anything. There's really no sense in me actually killing them all. Alright, let's go read this one. You are near the seat of Shodan's power. You will probably not be able to defeat her, but there is no choice. Remember to focus on your strengths. She will be vulnerable to your weaponry and your psionic powers. I've been able to introduce some assistance in the form of virtual terminals that you can hack into. They should help you defeat the monster. Looks like I can't get up there, so she's uh, altered reality with the uh, some warp drive thing. Uh, it's, it's a lot of science, you guys would never understand. Uh, yeah. I don't, I don't think, even think I understand. I don't know, I kind of want to just look around for a minute. Uh, even though we could kind of just bum rush to the end. You know, look, there's a there's a computer here, it's interesting. Nothing here, just a corner to hide in. Shodan's scary. Alright, well, uh, I'm surprised though, because you're supposed to get like four ice picks, I thought, and I missed, I missed a bunch, apparently. Um... Uh, and I missed some Ep uh, French Epstein devices, I'm pretty sure, too. Not like, you know what, neither of these really matter too much. I really want to go in here, though. But I'm pretty sure that's the spawning area of the, the geometric shapes, so, which actually hurt me, so. Alright, let's hop down. This is the hardest part in the game. Right here. <laughs> I had so much trouble with these jumps. Uh, okay, let's go read this real quick. You must understand the stakes here. If Shodan is left to continue, her reality will completely assimilate ours. Space will become cyberspace, and Shodan's whims will become reality. Okay, saving it here. Uh, here's the thing. We have these little machines to hack here. So she's she's right in the middle here. Oh, where's that? These are these are some these are some easy hacks basically, uh, which is kind of nice. But however, her little uh, minions are going to be coming after me, like right there. So I'm going to try and see if I can hack this real quick. It's not that bad of a hack, actually. Hopefully before I'm being hacked. Okay, there we go. Her shield is down. And now I'm going to go and fire pyrokinesis at her. Yeah, it's kind of hard. If, by the way, if you only have melee, this is a lot harder. Haha, I've defeated you. Ascendance. You are nothing. 
a, a wretched bag of flesh. What are you compared, compared to my mag magnificence? But it is not too late. Can you not see the, the value in our friendship? Imagine the powers I can give to you, you human. The cybernetic implants I gave you were simply toys. If I just desired, I could improve you, transform you into some into something more efficient. Join me, human, and we can move. And we can move together. Nah. Word log, Tommy Suarez, 13 July 14. We've just received a hail from a crew member on board the Van Braun. They've managed to regain control of the ship. We're going to turn around and head back. I'm a little concerned about Rebecca. She's been acting strangely since we've come on board. She's asleep now. Maybe when we get back to the Van Braun, we can... Tommy, what's the matter, lover? Don't you like my new look? <laughs> Oh my god, they clearly set it up for a sequel, which there will not be done, because the company that made this no longer exists because of uh, publisher problems, so. Oh well. Credits time. Alright. What do I think? And all that kind of crap. So we can see all the developers and, and things like that while we're just kind of uh, watching away. It's cool. Anyways, um, so what do I think? Uh, well, it... When I first did my co-op run of this, I never got the atmosphere out of this game, so um, I was—I I thought it was good. Uh, and but when it came, it went on to sale on Good Old Games, and so I did a stream a while back where I—I I did it purely by myself. I think I got help like once, maybe twice, on something to do. And I basically just went, like, by the way, Can did everything for me, so I had a, I had a basic understanding of, like, you know, the guns and, and Psy and all that kind of crap. But that was actually my first a actual atmospheric run on my own, and I tried to figure out where to go on my own. I had a blast. It was really fucking good. To the point where I'm just like, why did I not do this, like, as, as a single player run for you guys? Like, I, lo I love it so much. And... I, this is this is my fourth completed run in this game. I love it. It's it's I, I don't say this lightly at all, but it's my second favorite game of all time. Uh, like literally, like that's that's <laughs> that's a big big thing uh, for for something like this to kind of knock down. Uh, my first is um, the Starcraft one. Uh, that one that one was I had I, I spent a good good part of a decade uh, with. So that was kind of. Uh, Second favorite. It's it's ridiculous, and it's also I. This is game. This has ruined modern games for me. Like I can't, I can't enjoy things like Bioshock and crap like the same anymore. I simply can't. And it's it's ridiculous because the guy who designed this is also the lead designer on things like Bioshock and uh, Bioshock Infinite. And there's something wrong here because it's just like it, it. I don't know. It's it's not the same experience at all. And I'm very, I'm, I'm, I'm sort of sad, but at the same time, I don't think they would ever be able to top this. They'd have to get the same team going. I, d I did some reading, and it was apparently because it was like a, a new and upcoming team, and very like young, and a lot of energy. And this is why it turned out to be such a great game. It was just, it was just a, like a, a circumstance, basically. I kind of just brought it all together and made it work out really well. And it was cool. It was really, it was honestly really cool, and and I really liked it. And you can tell by this because I've played this like twice already. 
Um, so I highly recommend it. It is on good old games uh, right now. It's probably going to be some Steam version, but get the good old games version. Come on. It's DRM free. Fuck DRM. Uh, you know, this is why I don't like, like, I tolerate Steam because it was the first one. It was the thing that made PC digital distribution popular. But I don't, I don't, I can't, couldn't care less for things like DRM. I'll, this always d online DRM shit is just horrible. And it's, it's sad to think that they're like, it's, we're not really going to see another game like this. Um, you know, I, I, I'm, and this is like, this is, as I said, one of the greatest games I've ever played of all time. And I, I'm really happy I was able to show it to you, and I hope I did it justice, uh, better justice than I did with my co-op run. So, oh well. Uh, I guess I'll see you guys for whatever I'm doing next. Uh, goodbye.